Okay, good morning. It is July the 1st, 2022, on Thursday. Um, this is a warning. Um, I did have a dream. Uh, first, I want to read Ezekiel 2nd chapter, 17th through the 19th verse. And it reads, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore... Hear the word at my mouth, and give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way, to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at thy hand. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou have delivered thy soul. And that means the messenger himself. So I had a dream that there was an earthquake occurring and it it would shake a different at, at different increments at different times. Um, individuals were starting to proceed to take action at the first and second signs of this earthquake. Um, it was like they knew it was coming, but at the last minute was preparing to do something about it. Uh, when God decides to warn us, though, multiple times to do so, it is then when we should take heed to the warning before what's to come ahead. And God says warning comes before destruction. But don't wait until destruction is um, headed your way before you decide to take action and do something about it as the word of God speaks in Luke um, 12 chapter 12 54 to 57 uh, it says um, starting at 54 and he said also to the people when ye see a cloud rise out of the west straightway Ye say, There come a shower, and so it is. And when ye see ye when ye see the south wind blow, ye say, There will be heat, and it come to pass. Ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, but how is it that ye do not discern this time? Yea, and why even of yourselves judge you not what is right and I'm hearing for the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life which is Romans 6 and 23 so getting to the dream back to the dream within this earthquake it was spillage of water spurts of water that would spill out of areas inside of the house after the tremor or shaking of the quake. So look, don't let it be too late to get your house in order. And look, this requires your physical house as well as your spiritual house. This is the message that's coming forth for you. Your physical house, meaning the inside of your home, um, it is to prepare to stop. For several months and years, um, there's prophecy that has been going out uh, about to stock, you know, warning us to stock up on, you know, different things uh, for what's to come upon this earth because something great is coming upon the earth, all because of the um, the wrath of God, because the judgment of God is here due to the wicked. And the sin and the lawlessness, lawlessness that is upon the earth. So his judgment is here uh, for that particular reason because uh, no one will take heed to what God is speaking. He's constantly showing uh, signs. The signs of the time are here. He's constantly doing that and showing forth what he is trying to convey to us but um, no one seems to want to hear and want to answer with all the, the sin and the wickedness 
that uh, is being portrayed. So he feels though that you're you're not listening. So this is a way for him to get his point across or his you know an example of these earthquakes and these storms and these floods and whatnot that are uh, upon the earth already and that are coming upon the earth and there is something greater that shall be upon us so you know it behooves us to listen so please don't let it be too late to get your house in order uh, your physical house like I said as well as your spiritual house um, there again the physical house meaning the inside of your home to prepare to stop for what is about to come um, the Bible is fulfilling itself and you know when it, where it speaks in the Bible of the different things of diverse places and things that are to come that are things that are going to happen and take place well uh, his indignation and well, we're not even going sometimes to be able to go out in this because of what he is about to bring upon the earth as we see plagues and all that are here and famine is about to be approaching and um yeah and destruction judgment upon the church because he said the uh first destruction hits the church first upon the house of god first and so um It could also mean, as far as the physical house, it could also mean believing the place that you're in for the better. God tends to push us out of where we are, uh, but we hold on to what he's trying to release.